YouTube, what's going on? Bob here, New Dark Age now. I just want to have a little yarn with you guys about gay marriage. Sweeping the nation at the moment, this issue is. It's hella divisive. Hella divisive. I, I, I have no idea um, how many people would, <laughs> you know, would really have a strong opinion on this. It's leading the 6 o'clock news. It's got, uh, you know, the current affairs shows. Front page of the national newspapers. There's marches in the streets. Letters to the editor. It's going mental on Facebook. Uh, I just can't fucking believe it. I, I don't know what the big deal is, first and foremost. I don't know why gay people even want to get married. I don't know why straight people want to get married half the time. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, I think sort of as a nation, I think we're kind of missing the point. It's not about whether they should be able to get married or not. And I'll go into that later. So, anyway, public opinion's kind of changed. Um, you know, people are really in favor of it now. We're a lot more liberal. We're a lot more, I guess, uh, just willing to let people, I, I guess, express themselves. Uh, it's become kind of cool. I think more gays have sort of come out of the woodwork in the last few years. Um, we, You know, I don't know. I don't know if this, this culture of, of tolerance is actually creating more gays. Maybe you guys can let me know in the, in, in the comments. Maybe they were always there and they were too scared to come out. Maybe it's God's way of uh, controlling over population. I don't know. You know, you, you tell me. So, we're a pretty innovative nation here in New Zealand, you know. So we were the first ones to legalize or basically allow women uh, the vote. Which was really, really cool. It was quite groundbreaking. I think it was 1893, I think. Um, you know, shout out to New Zealand. Big ups for that. That was really, really cool. And it looks like this bill is actually going to pass. So the second reading, uh, it just had the second reading yesterday on the 13th of March. 77 votes for. Uh, 44 votes against. So if you're interested in who voted no, you can find it out really easily on the internet. As I say, 77 for, 44 uh, against. It's, I mean, I, you know, I, I, I wish... Um, <laughs> I wish we could have had a little more of a debate um, around perhaps some more serious issues. You know, I didn't see marches in the streets when the TPPA was, was, was in town, you know, which is basically selling our sovereignty out to transnational corporations. You know, I didn't see, uh, <laughs> I didn't see, uh, you know, people going mental on Facebook, um, you know, about the food bill, you know, or the search and surveillance bill. Um... But you ask someone what they think about gay marriage, and boom, you know, everyone's got an opinion. I guess it's an easier issue to have an opinion on. There's no real grey area. You're either for it, or you're really quite strongly against it. You know, like, you're either a, a, a hardcore Christian, and you're like, nope, I don't think God wants me to bum another dude. You know? I don't know how Catholicism uh, <laughs> goes with that. But, um, you know, or... or you're, you know, you're quite liberal, and you're kind of like, hey, whatever people want to do is is up to them. Um, being gay is normal, or, or, or whatever. You know, but anyway, we've got marches in the streets, and we've got this going through Parliament right now. Uh, we've had 22,000 submissions. And uh, I just want to sort of read a, a, a couple of... Th this is something that I found really interesting, okay? So, there's a, an MP uh, from Hamilton, Tim McIndoe. Now, he opposed the bill. He voted no. He said MPs have been lobbied by literally thousands of people. Most have been sincere. A few have been aggressive, insulting, and far more bigoted than anyone he's ever heard arguing for the status quo. And you know what? I'll back that 100%. I've seen uh, really normal, everyday people get super, super aggressive on, on Facebook or, you know, um, about this, getting really passionate about it and, and becoming what I would call intolerant. You know? Intolerant. And, uh... You know, of, of a differing opinion. But anyway, this guy couldn't support the bill because of his Christian faith and his difficulty in believing that God wants this change to be made. Okay, <laughs> so if God approved of gay marriage, he wouldn't have invented homophobia, you know. I uh, love that quote. Or he wouldn't have, uh, you know, created gays in the first place, right? Uh, free will, okay, let's not get into that. But anyway, 22,000 submissions, it, it, it's conjured up a lot of talk. A, a lot of talk. Um, the New Zealand Catholic Bishops Conference was held, and they said that, you know, it's, it's not really a debate about homosexuality. Their stance on marriage is not a denigration of persons who are homosexual. They, they, they think homos are cool. 
Uh, but they think marriage is a public, committed, permanent and loving relationship between one man and one woman, a relationship which has natural orientation towards the procreation of new human life. And I think that's a good point. Um, obviously the Catholic Bishops Conference, they're thinking, okay, well, we can't just come out and say no, being gay is hella wrong, um, especially considering their track record with uh, young children. But they, you know, they, they they wanted to find an angle, and I guess that is, that's a pretty good angle. I can see where they're coming from. So, you know, they'd... They believe marriage is about a strong foundation for kids, having a mum and a dad, and and you know what? They're probably right. You know, no one can really argue the ideal scenario is a mum and a dad for a kid. I mean, surely, surely, it's hard to argue that. But I don't think these gays are talking about having kids. I'm pro-gay adoption, by the way. I'm so pro-gay adoption. Um, absolutely. I mean, if you're a little kid, no one really loves you, wants you. You know. Um, you're not going to care if, you, if your adopted parents are gay. You're not going to give a shit. You're going to be all for it. Yeah, come take me up. You know, take me home with you and just, you know, give me food and warm clothes and stuff like that, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can sort of see it from both sides. You know, I can totally see it from both sides. I, I'm so, uh, you know, it's really easy to have an opinion on this issue. Uh, and no one really knows where it's going to go. We don't know what's next. We don't know uh, whether they, you know, gays are going to come out saying, "Well, we want to be, we want to have kids, and we're going to start having test tube babies, and, and we're just going to go mental." We don't really know. Uh, there's, I mean, there's some real bullshit thrown around. Lobbyist links gay marriage to crime rise in New Zealand. Uh, no, no, I, I, no, <laughs> no. Um, that's just uh, retarded. Um, but seriously, I think we're missing the real point. Okay, there, there is a real question here, and it's not about whether gays should be getting married, or whether, uh, you know, gays should be able to adopt, because we all know what kids really want is just someone to love them. It's not about that at all. The real question that everyone's missing, and that we should be marching about, is not uh, whether gays should be allowed to be married. The, the question is, what right is it of the government to tell two people consenting adults what they can and can't do. Okay, so long as it harms no one else. What right is it of the government to tell two consenting adults what they can and can't do? It's none of the fucking governments. It's none of their business. Okay, so, you know, it's a nice little distraction from some real issues that are going on. It's it's really cool because people feel like they can get involved in politics, like, oh, wow, I'm having a say. Uh, but, I mean, come on, guys, get real. It's a nothing issue. It never should have gone to debate. There's no need for a march. There's absolutely no reason to get angry about this. Uh, it's none of the government's business. Okay, they never should have outlawed it in the first place. So, who cares? Legalize it. Let's move on. Let's deal with some real issues. And I'm talking to you as a public here too, guys. Because, I mean, like, I, I like the passion. I like to see you guys getting motivated and, and, and becoming active. But, seriously, over this, this is a non-issue. It is none of the government's business. It's not about whether it's okay for gays to get married or not. It's none of your business. It's none of my business. Let them do what they want. And maybe let's get involved in some real issues for a change. Why don't we talk to the government about the food bill? Why don't we uh, march down the street about the search and surveillance bill? Do you even know what the TPPA is? Do you think putting fluoride in your drinking water is a really good idea, considering it's in your toothpaste and it says, do not swallow? Gee, I wonder why that is. I wonder why... No one's doing anything uh, about that. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, I'm really keen to hear your thoughts uh, on gay marriage, on my take on gay marriage, on whether you think the government should stay the fuck out of our business, and whether we should just let these things happen. So, YouTube, thanks for listening, and uh, catch you up, bro.